How to use intercom for beginners. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you how to get started with intercom, how to set up your account, how to get started, and what we can actually use intercom for. So basically, if you did not know, intercom is a platform that is going to help you with customer service. It does provide a lot of tools um, that are going to basically help you with the entire custom serv customer service um area or field and it also has the ai powers to do so it, it does have ai cool pilots and a lot of stuff with ai that is going to really push you uh when it comes to managing your customer customer service uh needs uh and we can find a lot of tools that we can actually use here we can you know see some of them like we have tickets we have help center omni channel uh reporting workflows outbound outbound messaging uh, a lot of integrations and also more stuff like inbox uh, ai copilot ai agents and so on now it is not a free platform i just need to let you know that uh, before we even get started because you know you would want to know obviously the pricing for it uh, and we can just see now they do offer three different plans either the essential advanced or expert and you can just go ahead and compare them in this page right here. You can just go to intercom.com slash pricing and you can compare all of them and see which one really suits you and your business best. Uh, but the good thing about intercom is that they offer a 14 day free trial without even adding a credit card to try it out. Just, you know, so we can test things out before we jump into it, which we will be doing right now. So to get started, just go to intercom.com, click on try for $0 on the top right. And then from here, you would want to obviously select an account and sign up. It's going to be a straightforward signing up process. I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm just going to sign up and see you from the inside. So once you actually sign up, they're going to ask you a bunch of questions about yourself and company. Just make sure you answer them correctly. This way, they're going to really suggest uh, stuff that are right for you and your company. So next up, you should find yourself within this page. And here are basically going to be the steps for you to get up and running and how to set up your account. Uh, it's just going to be the one time step for you to actually get started. And then later on, you will have the dashboard and everything. But here uh, we can see now how I, well, the, the name that I'm using. I'm here to help you get started with intercom. First, choose where you want to start. And you can just get started with customizing your messenger if you want to install messenger and omni channel which means you know the channels that you actually want to use uh in order to contact your customers so you can use whatsapp email uh phone the chat from within it which is the messenger uh and so on so you can actually go ahead and install them we can also start by customizing this inviting your team members integrate with other tools or we can just go down at the bottom and we can just start setting up our fin ai copilot or uh, fin ai agent or proactive support so you will have all of these things that we can actually go ahead and set up i'm just going to go for the first one here and show you around on how to install the messenger but you can just feel free to do with any other uh, one here so click on the one that you actually want to start with uh, which is going to take us really to the dashboard here and we can just get started by um, installing our messengers here so you can either install for web or for mobile and if we just click on install for web it's just going to show us the uh installer messenger that we can actually go ahead and install we have uh all of those to actually choose from so code, code snippet so how you actually want to install it uh so we can either do it by code snippet uh, or shopify or segment or ember really how you want it however you want it to be and then you can just go ahead and configure it accordingly now, if you want uh, to do it for mobile, you would want to obviously ch choose whether it's going to be iOS, Android, or React Native. Uh, but, you know, you just choose the one that you're going to work with and just go ahead and follow the instructions. But generally speaking, for the messenger here, messenger here uh, after you install the proper ones and everything, you can go, go to the web here and adjust how it's actually going to look like and the content that you want to have. So how, if, whether it's going to have a home uh, page, messages, tickets, and so on. And you can also style it to your liking. Uh, now, I'm not really going to go into much detail with every single thing here because you can see the um, intercom here really have has plenty of tools. So this is only the messenger, by the way. You can adjust everything accordingly to only the messenger. 
and we can just move on to the email now email section where you would want to obviously connect your email and you can do so from here click on email select the provider whether it's going to be google gmail uh, microsoft or other uh, and you can just simply feel free to um, follow the rest of these steps to obviously connect it and then here you would want to set up the sender email addresses domains and more stuff like customization and so on again this is only for the messenger and email we can also go for the phone so you would want to set up your phone number same goes for sms uh, and if you want to set up social channels you can simply do so so whether you want it to be whatsapp facebook or instagram you can do so from here just click on manage settings to either one of those three and it's just going to take you through these steps to connect them and then you can obviously throughout all of these options here contact your customers through them it's just going to be in the channels section let's minimize the channels section now and we can just go upwards to the workspace so in the workspace is basically going to be where you'll be doing everything that you really need uh, so we'd want to obviously create your own workspace have a name for it and uh, design designate a team for that specific workspace so we can just go ahead and actually um move back if i can just go to the home page here we can see uh, within the workspace if we just click on general here you can just obviously go ahead and start creating it and you have all of these settings to go through that you will be able to just um you know test things out or not test things out i'm sorry but fill all of those in accordingly uh and you know create your first workspace from within the teammates you can obviously go ahead and add your team members from here just click on add new teammates and you'll be able to just simply add them by their email addresses and they are going to be basically um added and you can just go ahead and set up permissions for each one so you know they are allowed to do specific things or they're not allowed to do specific things you are or if you're the owner of your intercom you have the full ability to give them these permissions or uh, remove them uh, from them basically so uh, we also have the office hours here where you can actually go ahead and set up your default working hours um, now you would want to set up the space uh, or time from here so if you just go to your general workspace you can change the time zone from here uh, make it that uh, make it uh, to your country basically uh, and then we can just go back to office hours and it's just going to really uh, be affected here and we can just go ahead and go set up every single day or weekdays or uh, you know go through monday tuesday wednesday and so on and then set up from it, uh, the time periods between them so this is going to be for our office hours channels we already talked about help desk is going to be uh, you know, the place where you will be gated, giving the help needed through the teams, assignments, macros, and so on. And then we also have AI and automation, which is going to help us with the Fin AI agency. We would want to obviously uh, go ahead and create one, which is going to really work well with, with whatever thing that you want it to be. So you can just go ahead and customize Fin reply buttons to do so. It's going to take a little bit of time uh but it's just really going to help you out with these steps needed and we also have the inbox ai uh, and so on and we also have the integration section here you where you will be able to go to all apps and you can integrate your inter intercom with plenty of different apps that are going to be available here uh what else so as you can see there is already a lot of stuff that we can work with when it comes to data you'll be able to see tags people audiences companies and so on um then we have the help center here over, over down here which is going to really uh you know help you out with uh intercom uh but from the even left panel here uh, we have the inbox here sorry this is the help desk uh, desk which is going to also include the um inbox and everything that we actually need so we have our inbox mentions created by you and everything from here but you will need to set up your channels first in order for this to work and on the right side you will find the ai co-pilot so you can actually go ahead and start using the ai to really help you out with uh, pretty much everything so you have all of those things and we have also the teams that we already have which is support and technical but again you can just create more teams or also remove those if you don't like them 
This is all going to be from within the help desk. Then AI agent, we already talked about it. You will need to set it up for it to actually uh, work. Uh, and then we have also more stuff like automation, knowledge, reports, uh, contacts, which is going to show us all the contacts list and everything in between. Now, like I said, this is just going to be a very, very basic overview of intercom. It's not really meant to show you in depth exactly what each single function here does or tool does because like you can see in front of you the amount of tools that intercom does provide you is cr like it's too too many tools that are going to help you out um but the thing is about intercom is that yes it may seem a little overwhelming at first but really the guides that are within it and the way that they show you step by step how you can set up everything even when it comes to the your, your F, uh, fin ai agent um, or inbox and all of those things are going to be really easy for you to follow so there's nothing much to worry about just you know the, everything is going to be in its respective dashboard so for example when it comes to channels you will find the messenger email and so on you will need to connect them basically and then you have your workspaces where you'll be able to manage your team members, your working hours, your security, uh, and also billing. And then you have your integrations where you'll be able to access your integrations with other applications. You have your automation here where you'll be able to set up the uh, AI stuff, which is really going to help us quite a lot. And also we have normal uh, automation, which is going to be like workflows. where We'll be able to just create them from here. As you can see, our workflows uh, and then we have the help desk, which is going to be basically where our uh, main objective is, where we, we will find the uh, inbox, our tickets, and everything in between. We can find them from here. And we can also go ahead and, um, you know, create tickets from here. And everything is going to be from this section. Uh, but we also have our contacts, app, and, and so on. So it's very basic and very, um, like... It is, it is just super powerful for people who want to, to really utilize the power of um, customer service. I highly recommend that you actually go ahead and test uh, Intercom for yourself first. And the thing is, you get 14 days free trial. So you can just go ahead and test it out. And hopefully you will actually like it and end up upgrading because the tools that they offer is just like a lot. Uh, so with that being said, hopefully you found this guide uh, a little helpful to get to get you up and running when it comes to er intercom and show you exactly the things that you need to be looking for when you actually get started with intercom but the best practice is that you go ahead test things out for yourself uh, and see whether it's going to suit you or in your business or not hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching